between an American team from Missouri's William Jewell College and a local team, the Air New Zealand Warriors. And as Roger Price, a failed prop reports, it's yet another step forward for the sport in New Zealand. Ready, stretch! There's a new ritual in West Auckland, the gridiron warm-up. Ready, set! One of the faces behind the masks, 17-year-old Kikaui schoolboy David Dixon. Two metres tall and weighing in at 137 kilos, David is to take up a $40,000 football scholarship in the States. David's one of the biggest players here. He was discovered walking down Queen Street. David's a big man to miss. As soon as I saw him, I knew that he would be an excellent uh potential to play American football and so I asked him uh, how would he like to, an opportunity to go to the States and play American football. He heard that, his ears pricked up and now he's uh, involved with our program. There are now 95 other regular players in the New Zealand American Football League program. Formed two months ago by O'Scanlan, the league took over from the smaller scale New Zealand Gridiron Association. Winner of a coaching scholarship himself, O'Scanlan is enthusiastic about what Gridiron can offer. There's not too many sports to give you a chance to go out of the country and get an education and to also become a millionaire. When you see uh, pro football being played in the States, you're watching 45 millionaires on each team playing football. It's not too many sports that can offer you that sort of uh, re financial reward. Potential millionaires? Perhaps not, but Gridiron is catching on fast here, particularly amongst Auckland's Maori and Islander communities. Communities which a visiting American coach predicts will produce top Gridiron players once they've unlearned rugby skills. The hardest thing is how to hang on to the football. In, uh, in rugby, it seems like when you kind of get stopped, everybody kind of stops and, you know, the play starts again. You put the ball down or you roll it back in league, whatever. In football, you don't stop. The runners keep trying to break the tackles and the tacklers keep going until you get the guy completely on the ground. And uh, so you have to learn how to protect the football a little bit more and you have to learn how to protect your body when you're running. And uh, I think that's probably the hardest thing to learn. And then tackling uh, with these pads on is a little bit different. You know, not, not a lot different than rugby, but it seems like uh, these guys, when they put all this equipment on, they feel like they're completely indestructible. And that's the thing is, that I've got excited about is that these kids are, are not afraid of contact, obviously from their training in rugby, and, and that's a, an important part of football. This match is a selection game to pick the squad to play Missouri's William Jewell College next week. It'll be a big squad and gridiron only a third of the players are on the field at any one time. The others come on and their offensive, defensive or kicking skills are needed. Skills which Coach Pallas says New Zealanders are picking up fast. Uh, the players here, uh, I thought they've trained exceptionally hard. Uh, it's not easy having to work and then come home after work and go to gridiron practice and prepare yourself. But uh, I think I, I was down here a couple of years ago and, and they really made a lot of progress. But are they good enough to beat the American Collegiate Champions? The match next Monday will tell, but also reveal just how far the new sport of gridiron has come in this country. Roger Price there and the good oil on the growth of gridiron.